This is a meditation to help you to get rid of energetic parasites. The goal of this meditation is to take back the energy which you have lost and to make yourself whole again. We begin with focusing on the spot of our being which is still most pure, our heart. And within our heart resides our connection to our spirit, to our spirit, to our soul. Look for this bright point of light warmth and harmony in the center of your being. And invite this light, the light of your own spirit, to shine, to fill your body with its light. your whole torso be filled with the light of your spirit. Your shoulders, let it flow down to your arms and legs and flow up to your neck and your head. When your whole body is filled, imagine that this light forms a golden egg around your body. golden egg, the light of your spirit, reflects all negativity, it allows all positive energies, all love and support, and energies from nature to pass through, so that you are now in a positive environment within your egg. To allow your energy level to be raised to a level where you feel it is more or less in balance with the positive energies which are streaming in from your environment. Now that we have created this stabilizing connection our environment and our spirit. We will involve our ego. Focus now on your stomach, your third chakra. Because the ego is the part of us which decides which energies to repress, which energies to use to survive in our world. We now 
try to instruct our ego. So we bring the energy from the heart down to the belly so that the ego will obey our spirit in this. It will not continue with what it has been doing. But we say to ourselves that we do not fear these troublesome thoughts and emotions. All these things are impermanent, coming and going. But our spirit is eternal. And things passing by do not affect our spirit. But in the same way, the spirit does not have to fear. all these energies which the ego wishes to use for its survival. Now we're going to help the ego to reabsorb all these energies which it failed to control. This can be different for each of us. It can be fear, it can be anger, it can be doubt, it can be addiction. start to feel how this specific energy of the ego doesn't only exist within you, but it's almost like a, a web all around you, connected to different people, different places, but also to energetic parasites. The parasites can live in your body, or in your environment, and even in other people. Sometimes a parasite can make another person do something so it can feed off you, to take your energy. Not by influencing you directly, but by using their puppet humor. Feel all these places where the energy of your ego has gone. But even though these places can be far away, you're usually not conscious of them. It is still your energy. It hasn't been completely severed from the source. So now start working with this energy which is outside of you. Let this transformative fire of the spirit work through the ego and make all these energies lighter. So that all these people and spirits and places cannot hold on to them. As the energy becomes lighter, more supportive and more positive, it is attracted by the golden egg around you. It comes back to you as food, as nourishment. You 
use the desire of the ego to be strong, to survive. Get the ego to help you to repossess all these energies, all this power. like the tides can flow back into the ocean the same way we're always casting out energies but they can also flow back let the tide reverse just like the moon attracts the water your golden egg attracts all these energies connected to you it doesn't matter who took them if you feel that a certain part of this energy is stuck, just make it higher and higher. So these low beings can no longer hold on to it. It disappears from their view. In case there are a few stubborn ones who are still holding on to it, then we will help them to stop being what they are. Send this fire from your soul, this high vibration to them, not only to your own energy, so they themselves will transform. Maybe they will stop existing altogether. Maybe they will simply stop being parasites and evolve into a higher spirit. Maybe they'll become a human. Maybe even a nature spirit or a spirit guide. send this energy from your heart to the heart of these parasites so that they too will learn to make contact with their essence and not just with their egos which are just driving them to feed and survive and keeping them in such a primitive state There's three options for those who've taken your energy. Either to let go of it, so it will be able to come back to you. They can hold on to it and become transformed by it. Allow your angles to grow, to accommodate all this returning energy. And this vibration which is natural to you. So let it radiate to the places which are yours, your bedroom, your living room your workspace so you will get your own nice and positive high energy back the 
these energetic parasites won't be able to stay there. Thanks to these parasites for helping you in having all these low energies which give you such stability and focus, which close you off and limit your awareness. Because apparently, according to your ego, you needed that at that moment. So also leave those moments behind you. And feel that if you need to be in these low states, you can put yourself there. You can be angry, you can be sad, you can be jealous, you can be greedy. But feel that your heart also has the possibility to transform these low energies of greed or whatever it is so into love and peace. The situation warrants it. Say goodbye to your dependent. To these people, to these spirits, to these places. And teach your ego there are always two solutions. It can go down to these low vibrations. Or it can reach up towards your spirit, towards your heart, or towards spirit guides, gods and goddesses, angels. But every time it will have to make a choice. Where will it turn to? Going up can often be more difficult than going down. Going up also means more sensitivity, more awareness. Or going down means more simplicity. And feel what your spirit wants. Does it want to live in a more primitive, more animalistic state? Or does it want to live a more spiritual life, more aware? To feel that both are possible. And both are possible without the need for these energetic parasites, whether they are come in the form of spirits, people or places. And give the instruction from your spirit to your ego. To maintain your energy in its natural level. And if there are other energies or people which are trying to drag it down or pollute it, that it should defend itself against them. Thank you for listening.